Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a U of T PA grad currently working at SickKids in the Department of Emergency Medicine. The PA role is, the PA role is still quite new here in Canada. Mm -hmm. Do you often get asked, what is a PA and what do you usually say in response? All the time. So, so all the time I get asked what a PA is. Um, so much so that in our electronic medical record I actually have a little shorthand, like a little saved copy and paste that I put into the end of charts because um, it's asked. I usually tell people that PAs are healthcare professionals. We trained under a medical model. We help by working as a team with a supervising physician. We still see patients. We can start investigations, we can do blood work, we can do procedures and or prescribe medications if needed. Um, but we do so working in a team with a doctor. So when people hear that we're part of that healthcare team, they're usually really reassured by the role of PAs and I've never actually had a negative experience where I've had a patient refuse to see a PA. I, I think for the most part they are happy that they're being seen quicker than they might have been otherwise if they had to wait. What can a patient expect if being seen by a PA? When a patient sees me, they can expect to get a history and physical exam started. Um, so I will go in, I introduce myself in my role as a PA and then we take the history, we'll, we'll perform the physical exam, and then depending on the complaint, I usually start some kind of investigation. So that might be, I explained that I think the patient needs a catheter because they are three months old and I'm worried about a UTI and they're not able to pee for us yet. It might be a chest x-ray or an ultrasound or something else like that, and it might be blood work. I explain kind of the role of the investigation and the rationale behind it. We will get that going if there's anything to treat, so a laceration, I will start the management, for, and for us that means some topical analgesics for the patient. They can, ex depending on the complaint, they can expect me to get pretty far before I start to involve my supervising physician. So obviously if the child looks unwell or if it's a complex complaint or something I haven't came across before, then I get the physician involved early and they'll come in, they'll introduce themselves and how we work as a team, and they'll help me and guide me through the management of my patients. If it's something that I've seen before and I'm comfortable managing, they might see my supervising physician at the end of kind of our meeting before discharge to ensure that one, I didn't miss anything and that this child does look well and to answer any questions that the parent might have about the care of their child. Um, so we, we very much work as a team and hand, hand off very closely to each other. Um, but it kind of depends on what the patient's actually coming in for as to what they can expect when they see me. And do some counseling and answer questions for the parents. And um, what was I ask? Uh, for those that aren't familiar, what can a supervising MD expect from working with a PA in PCR? A supervising MD should hopefully expect that a PA eases their cognitive load, helps clear some of those patients, and really helps with the flow of the department. So. Can I, can I help manage some of these lower acuity patients um, and then have the doc come in so that I shift them to focusing on those more acutely ill patients? Um, I would also help hope that the doc can trust me to do a little bit of teaching and help with the residents, help with the fellows, not necessarily reviewing, but doing some of those procedural things that, because I'm there a lot and well, we're in a big teaching hospital, we have lots of residents and clerks and fellows come and go, um, but the PAs are a constant. So I would hope that they would also let me in, be involved in some teaching and pass on some of my knowledge procedurally and experientially that I have to the learners that come in.